Oh no. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. This is how I die in one life. What's up? Ellie Shadow Lady here and welcome back to One Life. Earlier today, I was just hanging out here by the graveyard like a totally normal human girl would do and I heard something from inside there. I think Stacy is trying to communicate to me from beyond the grave. Ah, it's getting dark. It's almost time to summon her spirit. We need some candles. Okay, Stacy. If your spirit is present, please make contact. And please hurry. It's really not safe out here at night. Lizzie, it's... <coughs> Lizzie, it's me, Stacy, coming to you from beyond the grave. First of all, thank you for rescuing my parrot. But second of all, most importantly, there are three bottles of enchanting at my house inside my shulker box. I got them because I was going to make these magic wands. I want you to take them. I'm leaving them to you in my death. It's my final wish. Personally, I recommend the wand of ages, the wand of pacification, and the wand of following. Oh, watch out for the flowers. They are so strong. Anyway, um, okay, I'm, I'm back back into my grave. Goodbye. How spooky! If that was indeed Stacy's spirit, then Stacy has left us a gift to collect. Let's hide out in here until daytime and go and collect it. Okay, it looks a lot less scary out here during the daytime. Now we just need to make the hazardous trek all the way over to Stacy's house, past the plants of death, and retrieve the bottles of enchanting to craft some mystical wands. Okay, here we are. Moment of truth. <gasps> Three balls of enchanting. See, I'm not crazy, you guys. I really can communicate with the dead. Let's go before the giant carnivorous plants take me. Let's get this cargo back to my house safely. Okay, so let's see about these wands that Stacy was talking about. She recommended the Wand of Ages. So to craft that, we will need one of the bottles of enchanting, a diamond, two emeralds, and a stick. Do I have all of those things? I don't even know. Oh my gosh, I don't have any emeralds. Well, I guess it's time to do some mining. <gasps> oh my gosh, what is that? Who put this here? I thought it was real. What the heck? What? A hat stand. Oh, I see what they did. Oh, that one's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this as a decoration. That's super cute and all, but let's not get distracted. We need to find some emeralds, which means we need to go to some extreme hills. Here we are. Let's get mining. Oh, hang on. Is that the jewel of the extreme hills? An emerald. Well, I guess we just have to find one more. Okay, finally, we found another emerald. Okay, we got our two emeralds. We have everything we need. Oh no, it's night time. I guess this is gonna be a dangerous boat ride. We made it. What? For lying, I was in a boat. Now we finally have everything we need to craft the Wand of Ages. It's taken me ages to get all of this stuff, but I finally have it. Finally, I hold all the power in my hand. The Wand of Ages is mine! If we use this on a baby animal, it will make it stay a baby forever. So there's not really any point using this on a pig or a sheep, since the babies are kind of useless, but there's one thing in this world that is better as a baby, and that is puppies! Yes, we need a pet wolf. But to get a puppy, we first of all need a wolf. Well, actually two wolves, because when a mummy wolf and a daddy wolf love each other very much. Let's just find two wolves. Somewhere in that huge tiger forest is my baby wolf ready to be made. Let's go and find him. <gasps> wolf! What are two wolves like you doing hanging around with a bunch of pigs? Okay, let me tame you. Wow. You gonna take all my bones? Now, make a baby. 
Yes, my wolf puppy's on the way. Oh my gosh. Oh, look how cute it is. Let's get him home as soon as possible. You guys should probably stay here. Guard this hill, okay? Come on, baby wolf, let's go. You must hurry before you age. Hey Siri, how long does it take for a Minecraft wolf to age up into an adult wolf? My web search turned something up for how long does it take for Minecraft? Have a look. It's not really what I asked. I don't know how quick we have to be, but we have to be quick. 12 seconds later. Okay, we made it, we good. Now all we have to do is perform the spell with the Wand of Ages. Where are you going? Don't be scared. It's just a little magic, okay? Hopefully nothing goes wrong. I really don't want this cute tiny puppy to explode all over my nice white walls. Here goes nothing. <gasps> Wolf is now enchanted to stay a baby forever. Okay, I'm gonna use my name tag and we'll name it Baby. And we name you Baby. Okay, now you can sit on the sofa. Get on the sofa. Oh, how cute. Now I wonder if we can get the Prince of the Moon on the sofa as well. Yes. Oh my gosh, they're so cute together. Okay, so the Wand of Ages works pretty well. Let's put it on the wall here. And the next wand I want to try out is the Wand of Pacification. Oh, we need a blaze rod, a diamond, and prismarine stuff. Right, where am I gonna get that? I don't know. Do I need to go to a sea temple? Hmm, maybe somebody is selling some of it at spawn. I hope, because I really don't want to go to a sea temple. Well, fingers crossed that one of these is a sea temple shop. <gasps> Joey is selling four prismarine shards for a golden apple. Okay, let's snag myself a bargain. Thank you very much. Huh. Oh my gosh, Joey's here. Oh, he's giving me prismarine crystals. I got a free gift for being such a loyal customer. Use code Lizzie for 10% off at checkout at Joey's Bargain Shop. Honey, I'm home and I got everything I need. So let's get this wand. The power, I feel it. The wand of pacification has the power to tame hostile creatures. And the wand of following has the power to make things follow you. There's only one animal that it makes logical sense to test this out on, a polar bear. We can have a pet polar bear. And if we use the wand of ages, we can even make a baby pet polar bear. Okay, show me to the nearest ice plains. Whoa, dudes, I think we found it. But where oh where is my polar bear? <gasps> There's one right there. First of all, let's pacify Mama Bear. Ah! Hostile living creatures only? Is that not a hostile living creature? How about now? Oh, oh no, it didn't work. It's not working. My magic has failed. Wait, has it? Yes, it has! Okay, new plan. We kill Mama Bear. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to see that. Please don't hate me. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work. Stay a baby and follow me. Oh my gosh, it's following me. I love it. I'm gonna call you Bambi. Come on, let's go. I'm taking you far, far away from here. So we may have angered the gods a little bit with our magic, but we made it home alive. Okay, we're safe. Now, I didn't really think this through. I just have a loose polar bear in the house. This is highly unusual. Let's get you your name tag. Ta-da! So we are done with all of the cute magic getting baby animals and baby polar bears. Mm. I think it's time that we did something a little dangerous and try out the wand of pacification on a real mob. Let's go and find something. You there, stop. Be my friend. It needs to be name tagged? Oh no! Okay, let's try this again. I think a pet creeper would be the funniest. Okay, so first we name tag him. Don't blow up. And then we use the wand. Ah! What? He still exploded. So perhaps creepers don't make great pets. Let's look for a new test subject. Aha, a spider. Perfect. Stop attacking me. He's my pet spider. Can I feed him? Whoa, they can get over my super secure walls. What the heck? Follow me, there's one last test I need to perform on you. Ah, dinner bone. Say hello to my little friend. I was worried that that might happen. And it did.
So what that just tells me is that owning mob pets is a bad idea, and that we might need to protect Bambi from dinner bone. So I'm gonna build him another little mushroom to live in, right next door to mine. Voila! There we have it. Bambi is a very own mini mushroom to live in, and I thought it'd be cute if on the inside we went for an arctic theme so she feels really at home. So we need a bunch of snow and ice. So I'm gonna go all the way back to where we found Bambi and bring back some of the scenery. Let's grab some of this ice and snow. Okay, so we got some... What's that noise? Oh my god, what is that? Oh no! Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. This is how I die in one life. Can it swim? Am I gonna die? I'm just gonna swim home now. Ah! Oh my gosh, he is terrifying. I hope Bambi enjoys this new enclosure because I literally almost died trying to get all this stuff. Okay, what do you think, Bambi? <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> he just can't articulate it in words. So that is where I'm going to leave it for this episode of One Life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and I will see you next time.